All right, here we have the line 3x plus 5y equals 30. Remember, in order to graph this line, we can do one of two things. We could either rewrite it in y equals mx plus b form. So it would be 5y equals negative 3x plus 30, and then divide both sides by y. y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 6. Then we know it has a slope of negative three fifths and a y intercept of six. So we start at six, then we go down three over five, down three over five. Or we can just note that I can find the, the y intercept by replacing x with zero, in which case that term just goes away entirely and y equals six. And then I can replace the, um, the y with zero. 3x plus 5 times 0 equals 30. Divide by uh, 3 on each side, and we get x equals 10. And so when y is 0, x is 10, and therefore we get the point 10, 0. Um, or when uh, x is 0, y is 6, and that gives us the point 0, 6. And we can plot those two points and then use those to draw the line. But what we're trying to do here actually is we're trying to fit a rectangle into here. And I want to fit a rectangle in here that's um, three times as wide as it is tall. Three times as wide as it is tall. And it's going to fit in here so that it's wedged in. The, the one corner is down here. One side will be along the x-axis. One side along the y-axis. And it's just going to touch the, um, just going to touch the, the line. Now that's the key. If it just touches the line, then the width of the rectangle will be the x-coordinate at that point, right? Because that's the x-coordinate of the point tells us how far from the y-axis we are, and that's the width of this rectangle. And then the height of the rectangle will be the y-coordinate of that point, right? So we're looking for a point on the line here where the x-coordinate, the width of the rectangle, is three times as big as the y coordinate of that um, of that point, so we're looking for some place where three times y equals x. All right, x is three times as big as y. Well, um, we could just take our equation: three x plus five y equals thirty, and we could think of this as a systems of equations problem where I'm just going to substitute 3y for x. So 3 times 3y plus 5y equals 30. So since I know that, that x should be equal to 3y, I'll just replace x with 3y. We'll solve for y and see what we get. So that's 9y plus 5y equals 30. 14y equals 30. And y equals, see, that'll be 30 over 14, which is, um, that's 15 over 7, which is a little less than 2. So now we've got to find out the x-coordinate for that point. So we know that we're going to be somewhere right around, sorry, somewhere right around here. Now we've got to find the x-coordinate for that point. To do that, we're just going to substitute 15 sevenths for y. And uh, I might want to get my, my fraction calculator out here for this. We'll substitute 15 sevenths for y into our original equation and see what we get for x. So I'm going to go 3x plus 5 times 15 sevenths equals 30. So 3x plus, see that would be a, a 75 sevenths equals 30. So let's see, clear. 30 minus 75, oops, yeah, sevenths is 19 and 2 sevenths, which is 135 sevenths. So I'm going to subtract 75 sevenths from each side, and we end up with uh, 3x equals 135 sevenths. And then we'll divide by 3 on both sides. So we'll take this number and divide by 3. And we get 45 sevenths. 
x equals 45 sevenths, which is, let's see, that's um, 42 sevenths would be 6. So that is 6 and 3 sevenths. So it's a little bit over, um, a little bit over uh, 6 and, not quite 6 and a half. Well, we should check here. Well, if we check here, yeah. Because notice, 45 sevenths is three times as big as 15 sevenths. So it worked. So our point's going to be about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and not quite a half. And we go up, and we're just a little bit above 2. 15 sevenths is just a little bit above 2. And there's our rectangle. Reaching at the point. Um, 45 sevenths, 15 sevenths. Okay. So let's just kind of review here. The key concept here um, is that the x-coordinate for a point on the line is the distance from the y-axis. And the y-coordinate is the distance from the the, the x-axis. That's kind of our key concept there. And so this, this process that we're based on, oh, and also the key concept, I guess, would be that these equations are true statements about the points on the line. So uh, to go through our process again here, we had our line. We knew that we wanted to have um, a rectangle that was three times as wide as it was tall. And so we knew that the x-coordinate was going to be three times bigger than the y-coordinate. So we're going to have x is equal to three times y. And then, so I'll just substitute 3y for x in our equation, solve for y, and we got 15 sevenths. So we knew that the y-coordinate would be 15 sevenths. And I suppose at that point, we could have just multiplied by 3 and got 45 sevenths. But uh, if as a good double check, we'd want to make sure that we go in and substitute 15 sevenths into the equation to make sure that we, in fact, do get 45 sevenths, which we do. Okay. And there, it's right there. So if you could do the same thing with a rectangle that was, say, twice as wide, or maybe twice as tall, or maybe a rectangle where all the sides were the same length, whatever you wanted to do.